In this video, we are going to see how you can add new Qt widgets to the user interface during or after loading the main interface. Like in this example we are creating new Qt widgets after every 2 seconds, I also added a bouncing animation to the new widgets and the side menu. This function is achieved using Qthread signals. The source code for this project is available on my Patreon page for my Patreon supporters, or you can download it from Gumroad for just $1. Check all the links below the like and subscribe buttons. We will start by designing a simple user interface with QScroll area container with a grid layout. Then we will add a QFrame inside the grid layout. After that save the UI then generate the Python code. Now open the generated Python code then copy the code that adds the frame to the UI. We will use this code to create more frames later. But before we do that let's create the main.py file. Import pi side 2 and the user interface the create the main class. This is how the interface looks like. Now we will create a function that adds more frame widgets to the user interface. You can add any type of widget you want, but in this example, we will use QFrames for simplicity. Since a grid layout arranges items in rows and columns, we will have to pass the column and row values to our function. Inside this function, we will just copy and paste the code from the user interface.
We will have to do some minor changes to the code we just copied. Now we can delete the frame from the interface, update the Python code, then see if the new frame will be added. As you can see the frame has been created. We are now going to add more frames using the for loop, we will generate the row and column values from this loop then pass them to the function. We will place the widgets inside the grid layout using the row and column values passed. We will have to create new unique names and attributes for the newly created widgets. You can use these attributes to update, style, add widgets inside these widgets, or even remove the widgets. This is a good practice, especially when your user interface requires constant updates from data obtained from the internet or your local database.
You can also make your widget span across more than one row or column in a grid layout. The source code to this project will be available for everyone to download for free on my Patreon. In this tutorial, we will not implement a background function that will add more widgets using Qthread, but you can get the project source code where I implemented this functionality for just a dollar on Gumroad, or get it on Patreon, by becoming my Patreon supporter. All the links will be available below.